say that you lost hope or depressed or you give up. Remember that in these camps inside the strip of Gaza, six or seven or five or four people living in one room have no electricity, no water supply, but have hope, have great hope. And living on this great hope, and you are the a gate to magnify their hope. So please, please, my daughter, never put a word called despair in your discussion. لا يأس مع الحياة. There's no despair with life. And there's no life with despair. We cannot progress. So those people in Gaza under siege for how many years, brother? 10 years? 12 14 years? Now. I mean, 14 under years. siege, 14 years, but it's been before also. 14 years, but they never give up their hope. And they believe strongly that one day Allah will give them justice. And you bring your hope from the source of hope, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophets and messengers of Allah used to go to this very difficult time. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the battlefield of Badr. Moses, when he was taking the children of Israel crossing the sea, all the Israelites were so scared of the mighty, huge army of the Egyptian Pharaoh. Even Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was in the cave with Abu Bakr and he can see the feet of his enemies. And Abu Bakr was telling him, yani, I'm scared that they can see us. He told him, Abu Bakr, what do you think of two people and Allah is their third partner? And Allah blinded their eyes he could not be able to discover them because he's Allah. So take your hope from Allah. And Allah will never, ever let you down. And I respect you. I love you as my daughter and my colleague and my teacher, inshallah. And I hope that one day I come to South Africa and you teach me what you have.